Good afternoon, WestCon. This is Senior Student Meteorologist Eric Galf, and thank you very much for tuning into this latest edition of Eric's Weather Outlook. We did see a good dosing of rain from our coastal, coastal system. We had Tuesday and Tuesday night, and because of that, we do have a flood warning for the Brooksfield area. There's Danbury right there. The Still River in Brooksfield area could be a little high from the rain we had during that storm, so just be aware of that if you drive into that area. But we did dry off quite nicely in Danbury, shy of a few sprinkles that will possibly affect the region throughout the course of the day, but it should remain mostly dry. As of 12 p.m. in Danbury, we are at a temperature of 57 degrees, humidity of 69%, with winds out of the north at 15, gusting to 21 miles per hour. We will keep those breezy conditions for the course of the day, but they should die down as we go into the evening hours. We do look to have a nice, pleasant day for Thursday. It certainly looks like the pick of the week before we get round two of rain for this upcoming weekend. But will we be dry for Halloween? We'll find out in my five day. Looking off to the east, we do see temperatures in the lower 50s, which is rather cool for this time of year. But looking off to the west, we do remain more seasonable with temperatures in the upper 50s. There's that circulating glow that did affect us Tuesday and Tuesday night. That's going to continue to push off to the east. A uh, few clouds are going to be sticking around in the area for the course of today, but that should decrease as we go into the overnight hours. And the massive rain is, low, is more so to the east as it moves offshore. A couple sprinkles can't be ruled out, though, as we go through the remainder of the day. Looking just off to the west, we do see that clearance. This mass of clouds will dissipate, and we should get into clearing conditions for Thursday. But just looking off to the west, we do have a mass of clouds in the Midwest. And with those massive clouds is some rain and thunderstorms associated with that. And that is associated with a couple of low-pressure systems in the Midwest, one in the south and one in the northern part of the Midwest with this associated cold front. These two systems are going to transfer the energy with each other and form one massive low. Not too strong, though, and it will move off into the northeast for your weekend. So here's the timing of it. This is Friday as of 8 p.m. So around the, early, the late evening hours of Friday, that rain will just be entering the region. And by 11 p.m., we should be in that rain. The heaviest rain definitely Friday night, and it should taper down by Saturday. But we will see scattered showers and overcast skies through the course of your day on Saturday. Here's the latest fall foliage report as of October 25th. Danbury is within moderate color, and soon it will be getting into peak color. Most of the northeast is within peak or past peak, so just be aware if you do plan on going leaf peeping. So as of today, we will be at a high 57 degrees with those blustery conditions, maybe a gust of 25 miles per hour, but it won't be terribly strong like last night with most cloudy skies, maybe a passing sprinkle. And that's night low 45 degrees with partly cloudy skies. The so winds will decrease, but an occasional gust at 15 certainly can't be ruled out, but we should diminish the winds completely by tomorrow. So Wednesday will be breezy with those mostly cloudy skies, an occasional sprinkle maybe. Thursday, we do dry things out. It's definitely look like, looking like the best day of the five days with partly sunny skies, but temperatures in the mid-50s, which is around seasonable though. Friday, we do increase the clouds and the breeze does start to pick up. Not too windy, but we could see some breezy conditions with mostly cloudy skies. The rain moves in Friday night. Could be rather moderate at times. Saturday, we do have uh, those AM showers, but they will become more scattered as we go throughout the day with cloudy skies. And then Sunday, unfortunately, there could be a risk of a scattered shower or two with clouds decreasing throughout the day, but it will remain mostly cloudy. So not a total damper, but it certainly could be better for your day on Halloween. Please don't forget to follow us on the social media platforms. I'm senior student meteorologist Eric Galf. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.